guys so victoria has this side of her victoria is actually quarreling in the house raising her voice shouting and to crown it all she's doing this in pigeon like in pigeon english hey god do oh, miracle not the tire jesus actually hmm so there is this side to victoria victoria can get angry shout on somebody fight quarrel altercation confrontation hey. anyway guys this is our first fight victoria's first proper fight with mickey hmm if you say what caused this fight is a little thing that sorry can just amend victoria's anger is that mickey could have just said sorry according to victoria she said that she wanted to use the toilet many people were in other toilets then the vacant one there were urine there she had to stretch herself to bring tissue wipe the seats wipe the whole thing make sure the whole thing is neat she also wanted to change into shorts for the head of house challenge so she was trying to fetch water after cleaning the whole toilet her tissue her clothes was inside the toilet and she wanted to fetch water and the door is still even open immediately she just she was bringing water and mickey walked into the toilet that she just finished cleaning to use and she was like mickey no 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 don't enter there i want to use the toilet and mickey went ahead and used that toilet that victoria cleaned you can imagine the stress and without any apology so victoria now went and cleaned the toilet again in order to use it then after she came out of the dressing room and she was telling Mickey what kind of rubbish is that? That you saw that she just cleaned the toilet. Her clothes is there. Her tissue paper is there. She just wants to bring water. And you are entering. She told you that her things are there. She wants to use it. You still entered and made use of it. That is very bad. That all you and upon it, you were saying that, oh, should I take my prick back? Because she wants to use the toilet. Instead of saying sorry, I didn't know, or something like that, just say something nice. And you're saying, Oh my god. <laughs> god. Victoria's anger is the way Mickey even responded to her in an insulting manner. Saying, Victoria is also saying that Mickey should just say sorry and that is it. And Mickey is saying, Why would he say sorry? That he did not even expect Victoria to react because of that small thing victoria is shouting on him victoria is insulting him after fixing her leg yesterday she's insulting me victoria victoria you are the one insulting me after all i've done for you i fixed your leg and you are insulting me i'm like guys and this world after all i've done for you so you help somebody massage a twisted this thing this location that is all you have done for her so she should not talk again because you helped her fix her leg I don't understand because she did one good thing. So when you do bad, when you do another thing that is bad, she should not talk because she is the quiet Victoria. I don't get this uh, Mickey of a guy. The way that guy reacts to things in a funny way, the way he talks most times, I don't know what he's still doing in that house. Oh, honestly, and the way this J this um, Biggie is changing the dynamics of the game. They might stay till later on in the game. Oh, and I wouldn't like that. They might find themselves in the finale, which I would not like. Anyway, Victoria made her point clear to Vicky, um, to Mickey that that you helped me with something in the past does not mean that when you do something bad, I will not call you out or I will not tell you my mind. Hmm. There was celebration in the house. So even Femi was happy that Victoria at least reacted. Sean was so happy that Victoria <laughs> reacted. Even then, by the way, twins were like, ah, ah, Victoria, they were happy for her. <laughs> you know when somebody will fight and they are happy that she fought. Abby, she spoke her mind. Victoria was even talking to Cassia. Um, the wife of Kelly that look at what happened that sorry could have done it and he's there shouting and making unnecessary statements and argument anyway kudos to Victoria and yes we're having the head of house challenge already you know how we did which of the pairs are you rooting for guys um the aces that is Tofa and Suj went do you know that Tofa knocked off two balls in one throw like that guy he's really you know this abby boy 
I think Tofa is very dull. That guy is a dollar. He does suit so much, especially when it comes to games, challenge, all these things that have to do with games, challenge, tax. That guy, he's not matching Suj's energy when it comes to that. Suj could have probably come with somebody that will match his energy. No, Tofa. Tofa, oh my guy. Anyway, you know how we do it after the head of house um, challenge. That is the game. The head of house wins immunity this time around. So the rest of the housemates will go and nominate. Then anybody that is up for nomination will vote. If your fave is up for nomination, don't forget to drop it under the comment section because it's back to back voting till the last day. I help you keep your faves in the house. All right, guys. Um, last week, you all saw the comment section is vote checkers, vote double K guys i just hope that people will change and say vote for another pay this time around let's see how it goes the sim cards are ready the ic numbers everything just back to back voting until we tire but we know they tire for voting anyway guys there was a lot of conversation in fact when s handy is still talking about ruti and i'm saying big brother made a mistake by not leaving ruti in that house this conversation they are having supposed to turn into fight and we'll have the buzz buzz but as fate may have it, they are out. They say they can never forgive or forget what Ruti did to them. In fact, they can never be friends for life. The hatred, the, the court went too deep that they cannot, that even if it's them that knows someone's gist, that they cannot expose the person in such manner. That is none of their business. Why would Ruti come and say that to them? Guys, hey. <laughs> With this particular thing that Wani X and E are not willing to let go for life, I wonder how the reunion will be in 11 months time or in 12 months time. I cannot wait for the reunion of this No Lose Guard season. <laughs> anyway, guys, moving forward, guys, these housemates need to check up on Chingwe. Honestly, this one is no more joko because... Chingwe is very disoriented these days. If you see the conversation she's having with Zayo, you know, you just be asking yourself, is this girl actually is upset still okay? Because she talks like she don't understand what she's saying. Me said when she have conversation, she was talking to Zion about Suj. What she was saying, I, I was not even understanding her. I'm like, oh my, this money is actually pregnant. Because he, I'm saying Chingwe is actually, you know, the pregnancy hormones is actually setting in because I'm, I'm not understanding this this girl. Even Zion, I'm sure that Zion do not even understand what Chingwe was talking about. But Zion was like, okay, no problem. I'll talk to Sija about that. I'll talk to... <laughs> and... If you see how they are having this conversation, that is Zion and Chingwe, you will know that Zion mentally, like, he's off, off Chingwe. He has broken up with her mentally. He's just there for the game and for his future, to secure the bag for his future. But if that is relationship, connection, nothing, no, no be say the guy no go the nako. You go the knack to keep body and soul together, but you know, be firewood. But you know, emotional investment, how they were in the initial two days of the game, babe, babe, this, babe, that. Almost, it's, it's not like that this time around, though. It's not like that. I think that guy is, is off Chingwe. But let's keep our finger crossed, guys. Don't forget to drop a comment for me, give me a thumbs up. Tell me who you're rooting for to win the head of house because what it comes with immunity with is not only responsibility and stress this time around, it comes with immunity. So tell me who you're rooting for and give me a thumbs up, drop your comments, and don't forget to turn on your post notification and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Love you guys.